Good afternoon and welcome to this edition of Discover Monroe. This is a program in which we look at Monroe County, West Virginia and focus upon many of the unique qualities and beauty of the area and we also look at the potential impact upon this area of the Mountain Valley Pipeline which is a 42 inch natural gas pipeline which has been proposed to pass through this area. Where we are standing now is very close to where the pipeline routing, one of the routing has been proposed and we're going to look at this area. We're going to be hiking part of the pipeline and looking at streams, uh, woodland, and other areas that are uh, of prime importance to us and to the history of this area as well. I'm standing before Hands Creek, just before it enters what is known as the Narrows of Hands Creek, which is an area where it passes through a couple of mountain ridges and it goes from one valley to another. So it is a very unique area. And we have with us today as our guide, Rusty the Wonder Dog, here on the right, to the right of me, who will be leading us uh, in our excursion today. And we're going to, as I mentioned before, look at a lot of different things. Cultural, we're going to look at historical, we're going to look at impacts as far as plants, animals. This area also uh, is known for uh, eagles, bald eagles may be nesting in this area, so we'll be looking into that as well. All in all, what we are trying to do is show you the beauty and uniqueness of Monroe County while at the same time focusing upon what impact something like a 42-inch natural gas line might have upon our area, culture, history, and the unique qualities. We're continuing down Hands Creek on our journey uh, through uh, the Greenville area of Monroe County. This is one of the little streams that is entering Hands Creek. And I think it's representative of the area. We have several streams running through, and all of them are fed by a number of tributaries, a number of springs coming out of the mountains. So water is uh, something that is very critical and very important in Monroe County. And all of the sources that uh, we find, we're trying to document to show the impact that the pipeline might have upon these water sources. Hands Creek behind now and we're ascending Ellison's Ridge. As you can see from the surrounding area here, this area is a particularly rough area, a lot of rock outcroppings. And this type of terrain is typical of much of the routing that has been proposed for the Mountain Valley Pipeline. And one reason that it is of such concern is uh, the difficulty that it would, would be required as far as putting this type of project through here. It would require extensive blasting and what that will do to the watershed we cannot be certain of even with the most uh, efficient and the highest uh, costing geotechnical services available. I don't think we can fully determine what that impact would be. We're he uh, sending uh, Ellison Ridge right now and as you can see from the video here how steep this is and this is representative 
of much of the pipeline routing through Monroe County. Uh, steep slopes up to 55 degrees in some places. Most of this routing will be areas where the slope is above 25 percent. 25 percent is considered the uh, areas that should not be built, built upon according to most zoning codes throughout the United States due to the difficulties that are encountered on the steep slopes. So this, once again, as I mentioned before, is representative and we're going to go on up the mountain here and it looks like it's going to remain this steep for a good ways till we get to the ridge on top. Hey, yeah. Came Rusty, we're lost. Which way should we go? Rusty, lead us on. Okay. Come on, Rusty. Let's go. Come on. We passed the path. This hey, is tra I, this is that? trash that we found along the pi the proposed pipeline where they've been putting in the stakes, and they have thrown their trash down here next to this stake, as you can see. Here we are going across the, the big hay field on top of Elephant's Ridge, and these are all the walkers that have been walking the proposed pipeline today on Discover Monroe. Either way, we're on top of Ellison's Ridge in the big hay field, and these are all the walkers that are walking today for Discover Monroe. No pipeline! <laughs> <laughs> We're uh, on top of Ellison's Ridge now in the middle of the large field we just started through a little while ago. And the view from here is uh, 20, 30 miles in every direction. Uh, if you look into the far south of us, you will see Peters Mountain and another location where a proposed pipeline is supposed to cross. And you can see uh, the pathway from here over to there is pretty much straight through the woods there and straight down through the valley and then crosses and goes across Peters Mountain, which was seen in one of our previous videos. And it runs, you know, it's still too up there. It still can't go. It won't work here. standing here before a very historical and very important spring here near the top of Ellison Ridge. This spring was originally deeded by King George to the Ellison family, one of the first families to settle in this area back in the 1700s. This is a uh, water well on the side of, the, of Ellison's Ridge, which is still in use, and it's within a couple hundred feet of the proposed MPV route. And any time that there's a water well that close to the route with the nature of the construction process, it is always a concern uh, with losing the water supply and or the water supply being contaminated by the building process. Okay, we are standing on a ridge below Ellison Ridge now, and down in the hollow behind us is a major source of water for some families down in that area, and a pond, uh, including fish as a matter of fact, and also the water that provides uh, the water for homes. And uh, one of the major concerns we've talked about before in these episodes is how the disturbance on the ridge lines will affect the watersheds on either side of the ridge uh, during construction, the sediment uh, that flows off the ridges, uh, in the event that there are major rainstorms when the construction is taking place, there are all kinds of possibilities for contamination of water uh, on these ridge lines and the construction that be, would be involved. 
traveling on down Ellison's Ridge now, and uh, at this little location right here, if you look to the left of me, up on top of the ridge, is where the pipeline route is proposed for. And then as you look on down the ridge, you will see on the other side a pond and a water source for uh, that particular area there. And of course, as we talked about before, uh, any type of construction on a ridge like that will uh, no doubt have an effect on a water source below it on a steep downhill grade, especially. We're standing here in a, a cemetery, a very historical cemetery, uh, near Ellison's Ridge and also near Hands Creek Road. Uh, and the gravestone here is 1851, as you can see on the marker. And this, according to the uh, local history, is one of the newer stones indicating that this graveyard has been here since the 1700s and was one of the original ones. And this uh, cemetery is directly in the routing of the Mountain Valley Pipeline. And I think what we've discovered is there are several locations here in Monroe County where this pipeline will pass by or even over cemeteries of major historical significance. We're standing by another little stream coming out of uh, the Ellison Ridge area, and uh, this is indicative uh, of what we've been talking about all along. All of these little hollows, little uh, areas of drainage out of the mountains, there are streams running, and these are water sources for people, for families in the county, and this uh, is another stream that uh, would be impacted by the Mountain Valley Pipeline. Another location uh, along the Mountain Valley Pipeline proposed route, which is indicative of how steep the terrain is here in Monroe County in places. Uh, along this particular area here, it's probably 50 to 55 percent grade, which is extremely steep and would indicate that when the pipeline is being built, the equipment would have to be cabled to the hillside here for them to do the excavation because it is too steep for it to work without some type of method of holding the equipment in place and definitely uh, it will be problematic uh, for construction uh, process like this so uh, it is an area of major concern. We're uh, at near the bottom of the mountain now near Hans Creek Road which runs through the central to southern part of Monroe County and immediately to my rear is another little valley where a major spring comes out providing water for a family uh, below there and on the other side of this little ridge we're standing on is also a, another major water source. And once again, going back to what we've been discussing all along in these presentations is uh, that there is just water everywhere in these mountains and it is a major concern with the Mountain Valley Pipeline going right through this area where we are standing. We're standing on another section of the Ellison Ridge uh, area that we are going through where the proposed pipeline routing occurs. And uh, down in the valley below us is a major watershed area for Hands Creek, including uh, several springs and uh, what might be a wetlands area. And once again, as I have reiterated, uh, the concern, of course, is sedimentation and problems as far as the water quality as a result of the construction. We're on a, a, a narrow ridge a little bit further down uh, toward Hands Creek uh, where the proposed right-of-way would cross and as you can see from this ridge it's only about a hundred feet wide. Basically to construct the right-of-way they would have to take this whole ridge out uh, similar to mountaintop removal and this of course would have all kinds of repercussions further down in the valley uh, with the erosion, sedimentation, and the problems associated with it. We're standing on another one of the extremely narrow ridges which the pipeline routing is proposed for. And as you can see from this ridge, how steep it is on either side, uh, basically they would have to excavate this down 40, 50 feet to level it off enough to create a path for the pipeline, which essentially would just destroy this whole mountainside.
Our journey is almost completed today in this episode of Discover Monroe. We're standing here at uh, an area close to where Hands Creek goes through the Hands Creek Valley. This is a little stream called Dunlap Creek, which is a major contributor to Hands Creek. And this is directly in the path of the proposed Mountain Valley Pipeline. I'd like to thank you for coming along with us today in this episode of Discover Monroe and uh, discover as we have in the process of going through this beautiful county all the various springs, the mountainsides, and the unique character of this county and also to help us in our opposition to the Mountain Valley Pipeline routing through this area. If you'd like to become involved, go to our websites at preservemonroe.org and savemonroe.org and you can get involved with our activities or you can even donate money toward our funding for our purposes because it can be a very expensive process what we're doing. And we look forward to seeing you again at the next episode of Discover Monroe. <laughs> Finally, uh, tell me uh, what's your emotional attachment to this area and might reflect. And what do you think a pipeline across this area would do? Well, I don't think pipelines are going to help us any, and I don't know how to. Uh, I know we've got a lot of objections here on this place. Not this place, this whole country, this state, this county, which you're working on. And uh, I don't know. Uh, it seems to me like that they, that the government should have done more research on these lines to see actually what damage it would cause. They, I mean, they just let them run roughshod over these things, and and uh, it's t it's too late to cure anything as your water's been ruined. I mean, you're just trial and error is the way they're working this thing, and they ought to, the 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 United States government ought to be checking that out. You know, if, if, if that wasn't a, a dangerous project, well, I, I wouldn't mind it at all, but it is dangerous, and they're, and they're having explosions nearly every day uh, with this gas and stuff. I mean, if you've got a line that big, you're going to have an awful explosion sometime. And I don't want it on this place, and I, I don't want, I just don't want it around here. I, it, I think it's going to cost us more than it's worth. Judy, you have any final thoughts? I'm very concerned about the water not only for this area where we're having a, where we're trying to have clean water in the Hands Creek area that flows down, that we can have clean water to drink from the springs and from the wells. The area below the surface in Monroe County has so many caves and opening things that if there is, uh, if there is drought, drilling down through these stone things and get down to where their basic water is, it's going to be, it's going to be awful for the water that we use right now. If we don't have clean water here on the farm, the, if the cows don't have clean water to drink, we're out of business. Okay, I think that's it. I think we're not going to be out of business if we have anything to do with it. <laughs>